today we are making some rabbit cages so I thought I would show you the process now this job while it can be done with one person it actually is very helpful to have an extra set of hands just to help you hold things uh, we are making a two compartment cage today it overall it's going to be five feet long by two feet wide and two feet high there will be two compartments or holes as they are called in the rabbit world and um, the wire that we are using is just a one by one wire for the sides and the top and then the floor is a half by half and uh, this is not extremely heavy gauge you know professional quality wire this is just what Lowe's carries so it was easily available to us we used the uh, J clips with the uh, handy little J clip tool that we can get at tractor supply or online somewhere your feed store may even carry them I don't know and it's very very easy to make rabbit cages you really just decide what size you want and measure everything out cut it make sure you measure twice and cut once <laughs> we learned that the hard way that was my mistake <laughs> so anyway you just measure out your pieces cut them and then you just start clipping them together um, to start out with we only put a couple clips on just to kind of hold the shape together and then we went back and added clips you know every couple of inches or every four inches or whatever we had decided was sufficient you want the floor wire to definitely be clipped pretty frequently all the way around because that's going to be holding the weight of the rabbit so you want to make sure that that doesn't have any give but that's really all there is to it it's actually very easy um, just takes a little bit of time actually not even that long so for this particular cage it took about 24 feet of the one by one wire and then just a five foot section of the floor wire and then I did order these clips off of eBay I believe they were about a dollar fifty each so really the costs were not too bad but there you go there's some brand new all-wire rabbit cages